let's take a look at modules for a second. This is a great way to organize information to have your students go through a module. By default, this is my teacher view. I know this is my teacher view because I'm editing it in here. I see the little publish check marks. By default, unless you put restrictions on your students, if a module is released, the students can go in that module in any order they want. Let's take a look at this in student view, and you can go into student view at any time just by going to home and student view, and it tells you that you're viewing it in student view. Uh, if you do anything in student view and you want to reset that without leaving student view, uh, you can click that reset button there. Under modules, I can see everything is available to me. I can go in there and I can start clicking and I can go to the next, next, and I don't have to do anything. I can come back out as a student. I can skip down to uh, the activity, the graded activities and jump right into there. I can go into a quiz if I want to. There is no nothing restricting me from uh, going in any order I want, which is probably not the greatest thing. So let's go ahead and leave student view and see if we can fix this. So the way we're going to fix it is we're going to go down to the actual uh, module. Now this is a massive module. You're probably not going to have that, that large of a module. You might have smaller modules like this, but let's go ahead and go into the module and click three dots right there. Click edit. And then I'm going to add some requirements. Now I could add a prerequisite. A prerequisite would be the module before that, which is pretty darn cool. So the kids can't get into this module until they complete this module. That's not what I'm looking for. What I'm looking for is I want to get that little green check mark. To get that little green check mark, uh, the students must complete all these requirements, uh, and the students must move through uh, the requirements in, in a sequential order. I like that one. Uh, this is, they must be complete one of these requirements, which uh, uh, you may want that. And then here are all the requirements. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in there and I'm going to say, uh, start here and the students must, it, it, also, it goes in, this is not alphabetical order, this is in order that the pages, discussions and such are created in your course. So the first thing I want my kids to be able to do is I want them to go to this, start here, and I want them to view that item. Okay, the next one is campus help. I want them to uh, view that item. Then I want them to go to your campus profile. And you may not, this is gonna be very, very tedious for you to go in there and you may not wanna do this and have this many requirements. Uh, you can also, instead of having the students just view the item, you can have them mark it as done or you can have them contribute to the page. Mark is done is a pretty good one. Uh, and then you update the module. So now what you'll notice is when we go into, I'm gonna add one more, I'm going to go all the way down to the bottom. I'm going to have it go to course modules, course modules. That's this one down here. And I'm going to click update. Now I'm going to click continue. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the student view and this module is going to be locked. These things are going to be locked. They're going to have to go in sequential order. Uh, and we're going to take a look and see what that looks like from the student view and student view so i can go to the modules and you'll notice that these are unlocked and there you go everything is locked and you'll notice that there's a little uh checkbox area there of the things that are required so i have to view these things in order to be able to move on to the next so i have to do this in chronological order i click on view canvas dashboard and all I need to do is go to the next one. I just need to view that page to unlock it. So if I were to go back to my modules, uh, I would know I'd be able to move on to the next one. And this one was just a view only, if you remember that. And then this one, the, it wasn't a next. Um, I needed to actually physically go in there and mark it done in order to be able to go on to the next module. Now, if we go back to the modules, we'll notice that everything after was now unlocked because there wasn't a requirement for these. It's gonna stop me right here. So maybe you wanna do that. Maybe you wanna put in some requirements. It's gonna stop a student because uh, putting in a requirement for every single uh, assignment activity within a module will become very tedious but uh, I hope this helps. 
uh, clarify a couple of things. That's how you're going to get the students to get the check mark. Um, let me know if you have any questions.